Good morning, soul tribe. My spiritual warriors, let earth angels. Uh, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Guidance. 1111, 11. beautiful morning in Memphis. Do us a, a little reading. I am oh, and read my description before I forget that. Yeah, there's uh, some disclaimers on there. I'm gonna have to think of some little dis disclaimers to put on there. I'm sure they got some more that I can add. And my links, I got some links uh, for I care, Mystic Beauty, bunch of. Y'all want to buy some stuff? They got some online stores for cards. Um, iKev has, I think, bath salts and all kinds of stuff. Mystic Beauty, too. Uh, and they all, I think they all, uh, I got uh, Enlightened Anti Tam Retro. I'm going to forget somebody. I'm trying to name them all. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stop because I'm gonna forget. It. Anyway, we're going to. I'm going to do a. This is the Mystic Love Oracle. So we're gonna find out about some love this morning. God damn it! Who ain't nothing better than love in the morning? And I already drank my coffee. I'm running late this morning, so y'all just gonna have to. I already done drank my coffee. Uh, ain't no coffee with Captain Reed this morning. <laughs> but y'all get a cup. See, a lot of y'all probably already just just getting up out of. It. I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Actually, uh, about three thirty. I had a I had a dream. I'm gonna tell y'all about it at the end of the if I if I have time. A crazy dream. Woke up, shook up. Lord have mercy, mercy. It, it's I, I got it on my dream blog. Uh, Dream log one one seven two zero two four zero three three zero. God damn. That sounds like some Star Trek shit right there. But anyway, happy Sunday morning. Y'all get up, get dressed, go to church. Yep. Well, we're gonna start our our reading. Uh I don't think I got nothing. I ain't got no question. No. That's cool. That's good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Shoot. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ain't got no complaints neither. That's even better. Uh, thank you for. Oh, yeah. I got to say that too before I forget that. Thank you for my subscribers. My. Uh, those that like, share, comment. All of that. I appreciate everything. Uh, we are steadily growing. Still. Still growing. And our. Uh, yeah, my mind, you see, my mind, I was thinking about something else. But anyway, we, our ad revenues are still increasing. Yes, yeah, so we like almost, I think we're almost to $600 for November. I think almost 600 bucks. Anyway, uh, and I hadn't posted. Well, I'm, I'm going to post it later on. Uh, uh, what I had planned on doing is once they make a deposit for what we already have accumulated and I, I get that deposit and I get that sent, from what I can understand, it's going to take like five days for once the deposit is initiated to the actual funds are available. Um, it's going to take like five days, which is cool. It don't matter. I mean... Uh, I have already notified Wesley that I would be sending him some funds, so he's tickle pink. Anyway, uh, hmm. so let's get started. I, I will go back over my my last two or three videos and make sure that there is no questions that somebody added. So we uh, my. I plan on doing a 21 card base. That's what I always do. 20, 21 card base pyramid, uh, 48 card. Uh, oh, 
Crossroads in the upright. Crossroads. Spiritual awakening, realization. Huh. Well, just them two cards by themselves, I can tell you this. Hmm. Somebody got a decision to make. I think they may have already made it. They came to a crossroads and they've already made that decision. And because it's realization, they realized that they they um, possibly had a spiritual awakening, a divine intervention of some sort. Maybe uh, perhaps their ancestors, but just themselves, they they became awakened to something. Something triggered that uh, that spark, and they they became awakened, and now they on the last card, divine intervention. It, it's like a time for reflection. They reflect. They having um, mm, reconciliation. Oh, show Lord have mercy. Yes, indeed, divine, divine intervention and reconciliation. Mm. Lord have mercy. It, it, somebody, it's like they want to rebuild something that, um, because reconciliation means that there's something that was. They, they want to rebuild something that was lost. There was, and they're willing to compromise now. Before they possibly weren't willing to compromise at all. They did, would not. They're willing to make some changes. They were not before willing to make any changes, make any compromises. They did not want. To. Mm -mm. Nope. They said, "No, nope, I'm good. No compromises today." Mm-hmm. Oof. Well. Things have changed. Insecurity, self-esteem. Uh, this card right here. Mm -hmm. This card right here. When you put these two cards together, in fact, you can put this entire time for re for reflection meaning they they're thinking about things they are reflecting on some things that happened said whatever the case is <laughs> whatever that timeline is on this road right here this is near past this is something that is was on their mind and possibly still on their mind they came to a crossroads spiritual awaken realizing some things time for reflection and reconciliation they want to rebuild something that was destroyed possibly lost they they uh, uh, rebuilding can include something that was damaged uh, they were willing to compromise make some changes in some things I guess uh, not sure what that is but the insecurities card let me explain that what that is ego ego arrogance pride yeah, self-esteem they they're they're ooh, they got a lot of insecurities a lot and what it is is they they their ego outweighed their common sense they instead of using some common sense in this they let their ego override that and they got in the way of some things that's what when it says reconciliation and rebuild that's what that part is now they're willing to compromise because they having they they're having some time for reflections and they realize things that mm, oh addictions in the upright this could be a one or two things this doesn't i mean it can be healthy unhealthy addictions it can be very unhealthy addictions and this can also be in this Row right here starts off with crossroads. They want to go in a different direction. Perhaps they want to make a different choice that they made. They had a spiritual awakening. When it comes to that, the addiction card can be someone. Yes, love is an addiction. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. Someone can be an addiction. Like you can't get enough of them. That is a tremendous uh it's a it's it's like a drug. Yes. When you fall in love with somebody, you can't get enough of them. Sometimes it's overwhelming. Sometimes you can overwhelm people with love. You can you can um, <laughs> I'm just saying, you can, you know, cause them to overdose on the shit. I mean, it's like, damn, okay, boo, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I love you, you love me. We a happy family. It's all good. <laughs> K-I-S-S-I-N-G, like, stop right there, stop. It, yeah, it, it it is. But this also can be, like I said, this can also be some seriously unhealthy addictions. Seriously, it has attachments. Not only physical, they, they could be spiritual uh, uh, attachments that you shouldn't. Uh, let's see what's the next rule. Present state of mind. This could be past what they have been thinking over the past. This is now, today. Today. Regrets. A lot of regrets. Oh my God, this person is thinking about mistakes and lands in the crossroads. So they they they, they thinking to themselves. <laughs> they thinking to themselves. My God, I just messed this all up. I don't know how you know. And uh, I see what falls on the realization. Divine feminine. Whoever this person. Is thinking about, and I know I'm gonna get it in the comments. Okay, the same. Uh, I'm, I'm just reading what uh, I'm just reading what the what the cards say. Okay, I, I shuffled the cards. I prayed over the cards, and uh, I got my tarot deck right here. We can clarify if we need to something. Uh, I I uh, I don't know what to say other than. <laughs> We're going, we're going to read, just give me a minute to look at something. Make sure that's in my orders. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, okay. I apologize. Now, anyway, regrets. Let's go back to the present state of mind. Today, person got a lot of regrets. Mm, someone has a lot of regrets. Whoever that's going to resonate with, and it may not resonate with you, so don't send me no nasty gram on the comments. Said, that ain't me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sure. I don't know if I should applause or not because it's not you. Thank God it's not you. But there's a divine feminine in this person's life. Whoever that's going to resonate with, their regrets are over a divine feminine. That's all that means is that uh, it's not a female or a male. It's a non-gender specific person that's in a, a feminine energy. And only they would know what I'm talking about. Silence. They, there has been no contact. This is a no contact situation. This is like no talking, no nothing. No contact. Silence. Nothing from either. From either. There has been nothing. And this person is, and it lands underneath time for reflection. They're thinking about this. They are in their head about this. Divine feminine is. The spiritual awakening part of this divine feminine lands underneath realization. They, they have been awakened to something. Don't know what. Don't know what the, 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 the degree is. But they have been awakened. Friends. Ooh. Friends are land underneath. Uh, 
reconciliation and rebuilding. Friends are influences. We can say that too. Friends are influences. Gambling. Compromise lands on any compromises and making changes. This person, well, whoever this is, this is someone who was willing to gamble and they were did it because friends influenced them to do this. That's what this is. This is what this card. This role right here today, that's exactly what's this person has a tremendous amount of regrets about a divine feminine that they lost. It, this is a no contact situation. They they are not in their life anymore. They do not talk to them anymore. And it's because of friends and influences. And this person, don't get me wrong, it's because of the person, whoever this is going to resonate with, it's because of them, because they're the ones who made the choice. But they were influenced to do so. Big time. Big time. And they took a gamble, huge gamble. And obviously, the gamble did not pay off. They wanted freedom. Obviously, they thought that uh, self-esteem, it falls underneath self-esteem and insecurities. Uh, <laughs> let me give you, I'm going to give you my interpretation on this. I'm going to flip another one. Break up. Oh, that's not good. That's, that's what I, regrets started it off and endings finished this road. They think that this is over and it cannot be repaired. They think that this is an unrepairable situation. Addictions, and it lands underneath addictions and unhealthy attachments. This, the unhealthy attachments can also be someone. This could be some toxic third party asshole fruitcake nut job. <laughs> oh, no, it can be. Yeah, that addiction... Because they could have walked away. And it appears they did. I mean, this role right here says it all. They have regrets, divine feminine, no contact, influences. And the influences that the unhealthy attachment probably came out of the friends. One way or another. They took a gamble and lost. Bigly. Is that a word? Bigly. I, I don't know where I heard that. But I heard that somewhere. Bigly. <laughs> It's not funny. Yeah. Freedom. Freedom. They wanted freedom. Sometimes when you love, that's, that's, I'm, I'm going to interpret this card like this. Sometimes when you love someone, they think that you're trying to control them. And they think that you, because of, of, you love them and you are trying to give them sound spiritual advice. They, they, they don't want to hear it because they interpret it as uh, control. You're trying to tell me what to do. You're trying to control me. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. I can tell you what the consequences are going to be if you don't listen. I can tell you what the consequences are going to be if you, you use that ego and you let that shit overload your ass. I can tell you what the consequences are going to be. A lot of regret. Right there on the end. I don't even have to look at the card. I know where it's at. A lot of regret. Mm -hmm. Divine feminine. I ain't gonna put up with that bullshit. Mm -mm. No. She, she gonna get into the queen of swords real quick. Yep. And that's what happened. Put a whole lot of no contact. Most likely uh, this person. And lands right next to friends. The, the friends probably influenced this person to go ghost, disconnect, detach, whatever the case. And once that happened, Queen of Swords, Divine Feminine, they blocked. We could do that. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. So this is a heartbreaking situation. This is really not a, a good situation. Not good at all. Because on the end right here, it has to break up forever ending forever so they got their freedom forever <laughs> be like I hope you're happy well, romance romance hot damn romance is in the air huh. I'm going to read this one or two ways 
So y'all gonna have to bear with me. The regrets card is like lands on top of is on top of romance. Romance lands right below regrets. Most likely, they got into a yeah. They took a bite of the fruit cake. Uh, damn it! And that was the romance, and it caused a lot of regret. A lot. Perhaps they still, um, today it says it's regretting. It doesn't say that it's because of the, the, you know, the wall, not the nut that they, mm, your boss were. The cycle. Yes. In reverse. In reverse. That's the first card that comes out in reverse. Strong affection. Love in reverse. Whoever they had, whoever, they also think the divine feminine that they did have, a divine feminine, a empress. If you lost an empress, damn, you did a, I mean, you like, you like all that and then some. You like, shh. Oh my God! How in the hell can you lose an empress? That's what I'm just like. I'm just throwing that out there. Be like, damn, you like all that? You like ate up? <laughs> anyway, they believe that the divine feminine. They don't love them anymore. They they like you don't love me anymore. That's a song. Joe Lynn's gonna put on that. That's a song. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh. Second scenario with this is whoever they was with, whoever they walked away from, the empress, the divine feminine, to go towards, they don't love them. Probably never did. It was something else, but like a eye candy. They thought they was all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like, God damn it. Boy, friend looked good in them damn skinny jeans. What? Mm hmm. He was over there dancing, line dancing too. Man, would be like, boy, what you doing out there line dancing? Your thong is showing. Boy, pull your pants up a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, or girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend had them days of Duke's on, but nothing nice. Be like, damn, boo, show. Mm -hmm. Love in the upright. Love. They thought. One or two things here. Lands underneath, no contact. Silence. And this is like near future. When I say near future, and I mean like it's maybe tomorrow. Near future, next week. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't do no like like the weatherman, five day forecast and all this is like, but it could be five days. <laughs> but uh, mm, they got, they had, they, this could be, and let me look at this a different way. This could be something that there's a wish, a hope and a prayer because I'm seeing something different right here. This because this romance and feelings could be directed towards the person that they lost, the divine feminine, because the no love card falls, the love card in reverse falls under divine feminine, the empress. And I think that they want that empress back. If they could get that empress back today, they'd probably give up a lot to do it because they know what they had. They know what they lost. See, that's the whole problem with some people. They got to lose a lot before they realize what they had. Because there's signs of love here. This right here. Lands underneath no contact. If they could contact. And if they could make contact. Like on E.T. Yes. They would. Ooh. Sex, good time. This is, and it's in reverse. And it lands on the friends and influences. Yeah. Ooh. 
There's only one way for me to interpret this. I won't even go there. <laughs> but I'm have to, I have to go there because that's my job. Mm. Mm -mm. So like if I was one of them, like Dr. Phil, mm -mm. be like, girl, put your big girl panties on because I'm fixing to give you some bad news. This person, whoever they have been with, mm, the intimate part of that relationship. And when I say sex is not always intimate, Okay. It, intimacy can be a lot of other things besides sex. But the sexual part of this relationship sucked big time. Mm-hmm. They're like, damn, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case is. Hmm. Yeah. Not a good situation. Yes, definitely. And it's still that way. And it's going to continue. Because this is tomorrow, the next day. Mm -hmm. This is not a good situation. You might as well. I mean, either that or you're going to have to deal with it. I don't know what to say. Yes. Ooh, intimacy bonding in reverse. Another card in reverse. There is no intimacy in this. Not even because like I just said, intimacy can be a, a number of things. Holding hands, cuddling, kissing. Hell, me and my bride, we, we drink coffee and that's a part of our intimate relationship. That's all part of it. There is no, it's, this person does not, who, if they still with whoever they with, fruit can, I hope they're watching. Yeah. They don't like you. They don't like you at all. Yeah, they just there because maybe they need a bed to sleep in. Maybe money. Uh, who? And I mean, if it's a dude, you know, bro, get a job. Go stay at a hotel by yourself. What's wrong with you? Yeah, get some cojones, boy. What? Golly, I mean, what really? No, there is no intimacy. They don't. They don't. Man. No, no intimate bonding at all. Hmm. You see? Another one. In reverse. There's no passion. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. They don't want no part of that passion fruit. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. -mm. They're like, no, I'm good. Yeah, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, I'm done with that. Be like, damn. <laughs> Commitment. Yeah. Somebody wants to. Hey. Uh, no, this is in reverse. I'm sorry. There's no commitment. It's like a non-committal situation right here. I apologize. Oh, I was going to put it in the upright, and I realized it wasn't. It didn't come out that way. Oh, reverse, 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 reverse. There's only two cards on this row. Romantic feelings and love. This could be another thing. This this person may have thought they was in love with this individual. This could be a, like a past. Someone that come out of a blast from the past. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shit happens. Be like, <clears throat> damn girl, I remember you from the first grade. You look good then. <laughs> oh, damn. That could be a blast from the past and they met them or whatever the case is. They was over there at the club and whatever. Might have been at church. Holy Ghost hit them. Holy Spirit just, damn. Mm-hmm. But this person is a non-committal. Whoever this is, whoever this is going to resonate with, non-committal person. But now things is changing because you see up here they they thinking about a lot of things. They want to go in a different direction. They they don't want to continue down the same direction that they went towards. No. Mm -mm. 
there's a, a spiritual awakening that's going on with this individual they want to reconcile possibly rebuild if they can and that's the part that right here where it says romantic feelings and um, divine feminine and a divine feminine I'm telling you this person is an empress they all four queens put together because this this regret card it's like I made some mistakes and I can't I don't know if I can ever fix what I did because the breakup is forever in this empress's mind in this divine feminine's mind this is over I'm moving on <laughs> what I wanted you didn't want you wanted a fruitcake addiction you know what that sugar will do to you don't do it mm -mm. sugar is an addiction yeah don't do it yeah mm -mm. let's see dating someone new oh hold on let's see where this is going I don't know if this is hmm Dating and drinking. I told you at the club. You see this? Let me show you this. Hey, drinking that damn wine. Some Morgan David, boy. Y'all better cut that out. Mm -mm -mm. Dating someone new. Hmm. And then meeting someone new. Shall Lord have mercy. Oh, independent. In reverse. Dating is in the upright for that. Just just throw that out there. Hmm. Independent is... Hmm. You see, we have committed down here proposal and they're non-committal. It's in reverse. Same thing. Non-committal. Down here, it says non-committal. In reverse. Whatever is going on with this person, whoever they with, I think whoever they, the person that they, the fruitcake, mm -hmm. the nut job, psychotic, I know I'm going to get another comment and be like, you need to stop calling people names. I, I know I got to stop. I need to try to, uh, I shouldn't say, I'm just that type of person. I say it like it is. The nut job, fruitcake, <laughs> turd, oh, you turd. They are turd. Anyway, that person, they feel stuck. They're non-committal, but the independent part of it is in reverse. So, and they're dating or they, they want to date, possibly, and they want to meet someone new. Mm -hmm. Or is that the person, is that the Divine Feminine? That could be the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. It lands on top of the Divine Feminine, no contact. That could be the Divine Feminine. They, they're like, they, they, shoot. They ain't got no reason to be committal. They're like, I'm just have me some fun. Yeah. I think that's who that is. That's that's the divine family. They meeting someone new, they having some fun, drinking some Morgan David. Yeah. Yeah, they feel safe. You know, they 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 feel safe about it and they Divine Feminine, the, the Empress, doesn't need anyone. They want. There's a big difference there. Uh, they, they do not need. And people get that confused. Safety and comfort. There's something, though, that is... Hmm, what is that? There's something that's holding this person back. Non-committal and and like they they not they independent they they are independent in a sense but there's something that something is holding them I don't know what it is anxiety and worry this may change hold on a minute 
Yeah. Well, this person got hurt. That's what it is. This was a very, very traumatic experience for this person, who, for whoever I'm talking to on this road. I'm not talking about this this person right here. Don't, I'm talking about the divine feminine was extremely hurt. And they have anxiety over that with someone else. Meaning that if they go towards someone else or if they allow someone else in, if they open their heart to someone else, guess what's going to happen? They're going to get hurt. They are worried about finances. They're not really, they just, just pentacle up. That's what they're doing. They work. They are just worried about making pentacles. They, that's what they do. That consumes them. The dating part is probably just for fun, just to meet someone, new people, have fun with friends. Uh, they are most likely happy being alone, independent, non-committal. You know, they're like, we're just friends. Mm -hmm. Someone m may want more, but because safety comfort card is right here, right next to anxiety and non-committal is stuck between the two. Mm -mm. Hurting, agonizing pain is right next to anxiety. Mm -mm. This person's been, this person's been slaughtered. Emotionally, they have been devastated. Mm -hmm. Mm. Competition. The other woman. This could be switching again here. Let's see what this is. Meeting, dating, and it lands underneath. Intuition, knowing. Yes, this is back on top of the, the, whoever this was resonating to begin with, the one that, with the crossword rule, spiritual awakening, the, the person that has a lot of regrets. They are worried about this road. The, the, the road that ties your past reflections, your, uh, what's on your mind near past, what you've been thinking about, present day, we weave those together, we, we bonded those together with this rope. Mm -hmm. Now, we, this person is worried about that person with another woman, another man. It's a non-gender specific card. Competition. Yeah, they don't like that. Very jealous. Just very jealous. Very jealous. And it's like they know. Their intuition is they they know. Don't know how, but they, they think they know. Put it that way. Blocked. Yes. They are they are blocked. I said that earlier. Um I said that earlier in the in the in the top row. I thought they were, because it's just the way the cars were falling. And they trying to keep tabs on you. They blocked and they trying to the the first card out is another woman. Another person. Let's say another person, because this is non gender specific. So they are worried about another person that comes into your life. Doesn't matter if you friends, family uh, friend not family friends, uh uh more than that. They they worry that uh, somebody else is going to latch on to that empress. And this person, this could have been this person dating. This person could have told you. This person up here with the crossroad spiritual awakening, they could have said, you know, I'm going to date somebody else. I'm dating other others. You know, crushed. That's why this person was hurt, anxiety. And they like, okay. Mm -hmm. Blocked, blocked. Unsent. Man, they send. They they send texts or they they compose texts, but they don't send them. It's unsent. And if they did, because this lands right here, not on top of, but very close to, because it. Uh, this card lands on top of intimacy in reverse. 
um, passion in reverse. If they did, seeing it, be most likely they wouldn't get the answer. They would be left unread because it lands so close to break up forever ending. This person did a lot of damage. Call. They they wait. They waiting to for you or whoever to call. Not crossroads. Spirits awaken. This energy up here. The one that I, we speak to, we spoke of earlier with the first row, second row, is they the ones that's waiting. They they don't want to take the first step because they think that they have done so much damage that it's unrepairable. And but if you make the take the first step, then it opens the door for them. Blessing happen. This person is not happy. Blessing happen. It's in reverse. They are totally unhappy. Totally unhappy. They may act like they are. They may act like they are. Because that's a, I mean, that's a feeling that I'm getting. <laughs> I said they act like they are. Mass pops up. Yes. Mass pops up. They are not showing their true self. Yeah. I mean, I, can, I, I got that too. Oof. Yeah, they, they just... They, that is all part of the problem. That's all part of the problem. This person has, they don't express their real feelings. No, they don't. You possibly did. And you possibly felt that they didn't care anyway. So, peace in reverse. This person has no peace. You could wish them Peace, blessings, and happiness all day long, but they haven't got it. Mm -mm. And they most likely never will again. Most likely. Mm. But with Soul Tribe Spiritual Warriors, Earth Angels, we don't we don't wish them unhappiness. We don't wish them a we hope that they find what they're looking for. We hope that whatever they find the love of their life, we hope that they, they, because they weren't happy with you or they weren't happy with whoever they was with. So our wish for them is we, we wish you the best as you move on with your life, which you should. Fears, yeah, they, they are, this person is afraid. Big time. This person is. They broke trust. Uh, the car says cheating. Uh, they broke. They broke trust. They broke. They one way or another. This person. They, you uh, obviously you trusted this person with everything you had. Again, they didn't care. That, that was not. They did not. It's, like, it's not what it looks like. It lands on top of happiness in reverse and a mask. They're not showing their true self. Snake. It's not what it looks like. I'll interpret that. If you are around this person, they're going to appear to be elated. Tickle pink. If they're with someone else, they're going to be all over that person. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, makes me think of that song. I forgot who sings that. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you? Yeah. Snake. It's not what it looks like. It's all an act. It's all an act. The minute they get in the car, the vehicle will be like, don't touch me. <laughs> like, dude, don't put your damn hands on me. Uh-uh. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. And now, the difference with this is, if you with someone, and I'm not saying you are or not, I'm saying that if you do have someone, because there's a competition card here that says a beautiful peacock. Peacock is a very beautiful bird. The other woman, if you 
other person. Don't have to. Gender non-specific. So, if you are in, in the same vicinity with this person, your person, they going to be hot. Whew. They going to be looking good from their toes to their nose. God damn it. Yes, and that is going to drive this person crazy. It is going to eat at them for a long time. Storms. Turmoil is ahead. This is the outcome of what of this reading. Whatever is going on, it's not what it looks like. They have some storms on the horizon. Storms are on the horizon. Change is coming. Mm -hmm. Change. Another, you see that? Storms. Look at that. See the rain? Storms. Turmoil is coming. Another one. It don't say storms, but you can see in the picture. They got storms coming. The ass is, is you better buy a slicker suit, boo. <laughs> oh, another one. Look, you see the, oh, no. You're going to get hit by lightning. Oh, oh, yeah. Unexpected changes. Lands next to the change card. Unexpected. All of a sudden. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, whatever you did, they're going to do that to you. If you are abandoned, poor thing down here, where they at, wherever they are. If you abandon them, you're going to get, your ass going to get abandoned. If you ghosted them, you're going to get ghosted. Whatever the pain you put that person through, the hurt and the agonizing pain, the anxiety that they feel now, you're going to get that. You get what you give. Mm -hmm. You grow with your soul. Oops. Yeah, that's going to be the fruit of whatever you did. Nothing but storms in the horizon. Oh, this person is hoping for a faded meeting. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. They're like... Hmm. Yep. It could be anywhere. It can be anywhere. It can be a faded meeting and... This could be something, uh, a wedding, a, uh, yeah, a wedding, a, a funeral, uh, something, you know, uh, American Legion Hall or something, something that, that this person is hoping for a faded meeting. Maybe like running to you at Lowe's or Home Depot or at the, at the Walmart. Yeah. Hmm. They're hoping. Because for them now, this is an important connection. I really believe that it doesn't matter who are they dating, who they, they've been with, whatever the case is. They are like seriously laser focused on, on you. They can't get you out of their head. They can't get you out of their mind. And divine timing, they believe that that fed eight meeting is, is going to be divine timing. They believe in the right time. Yeah, you see? In the upright. Relationship connection. They believe that they are going to connect with you again on some kind of level. And they also believe that whatever the love that you felt for them at one time is going to reignite. It is going to, that pilot light is still burning. Going to turn that that stove on and it's gonna start mm -hmm. yep relationship might be like ain't got no gas no more boo sorry don't have no pilot light it's all electric now <laughs> you, know, you see yeah mm -mm -mm. travel travel they experience new things. Hmm. Okay. Last two cards. On top of divine time and faithful meeting. A faded meeting. Hmm. I think that's about Let me see what this is about. Unfinished business. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. Look at that. Hot damn it. That cat might be a vampire. Look how he's biting on the neck. Buddy. Get off my neck, boy. Unresolved situation. Yeah, that's what that is. This person. You see, they believe that this is like a faded meeting. That's something you, that you're going to meet them somewhere. And they... They think that this is divine timing, that uh, this is a divine connection. One way or, or another, this is a divine connection. And there is some unresolved business that you and them have, unfinished business, unresolved situation. And obviously either you or they will travel to resolve that business. And that business could be... I'm going to just say it could be, don't have to be, intimacy could be some type of, because they ain't getting no sex down here. If they always say, like, they don't like it, they're like, mm, -mm I'm good. But like, boy, let me tell you something. I've been on a street fair ride that lasts longer than you. <laughs> You're like, damn, girlfriend, you hurt my feelings, shit. They're like, <laughs> they're like, shit. Yeah, I've been on a roller coaster ride last longer than you did. Ah. <laughs> Inspiration. This person listens to music all the time. Of course, I do too. So, I mean, a lot of people do. I'm not saying that. But this person listens to music and they think about you. They think about whoever. Who, I'm not saying you, but whoever this is, it's someone that, that if given the opportunity to travel, Towards you to resolve some situation may not even be intimate, may just be a talk over coffee. They're gonna travel towards you to have a talk over coffee, and that person listen to some some serious inspirational music. Yes, they jam out to some Chicago or some Journey. Hot boy, you don't want none of that. Let's see what we got on the bottom between the lines. Oh, look what's hidden. There's something. There's something. You got to watch him. Mm-mm-mm. That's a freaking snake. Look, watch what's hidden. Oh, and family. You know what? Security. Family, that's in spiritualism. That's security. Because you're supposed to be secure in a family. Not always happens. I'm going to tell you that right now. When Cain killed Abel, poor thing, he was not secure. You know, and they do have that a lot in family. There's, yeah, they, they, they do have that a lot. And they're looking for a secure foundation. Ooh, here's another one. No second chances. No second chances. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see what we got. Let me see. Hold on just a second. Oh, perfect. Uh, yes. You know, and that's all that is. It's like an ending. There's an ending. and uh, But I'm going to tell you, this person don't seem like they're the type to give up. A whole inner. Yeah, the whole inner growth. You see that symbol right here? That's a chakra symbol. This is the crown chakra symbol. That's what that is. That symbol is for crown chakra. And crown chakra is spiritualism. It's it's your crown. It's your spiritualism and your your frame of mind, your mentality. Yes. Inner growth. Healing and releasing. Ooh, get this. Healing and releasing. Toxicity. <laughs> Someone may be giving up so, something that is like super toxic in their life. Wow. They should. They shouldn't depend on Capri to tell them to give that shit up. They should know that without hesitation. Get rid of that. That ain't no good for you. For sure. So. But tell y'all about my dream I had. With. We're going to run out some. At uh, 3.30, I woke up, shook up. 
So I pulled my pad and my pen up and started writing down the dream that I remember that I had. And I was in New Orleans. And I said 3.30 this morning. I was, I was in New Orleans. And I was boarding a cruise ship. That big old ass cruise ship. And uh, uh, this person walks up to me, and they uh, and they say, I think they pointed up like at the top of the cruise ship, and they said, I think they're gonna jump. Hmm. So I'm looking up there, and I turn around and I looked at the female. It's a woman, very, very pretty, pretty lady. I said, don't I know you? Don't I know you from somewhere? I said, uh, seems like I, I recognize you. She was very, very beautiful, shapely, mm -hmm. beautiful eyes, uh, uh, dark hair. Uh, I said, haven't we met before? And she says, yes. We've met many times, many times. We've met many different places. Mm. I was like, okay, it kind of confused me a little bit, so in my dream. And uh, she says, I have a message for you. This is what she tells me. We're standing like at the gangway to get on the ship. And she says, I have a message for you. And she points up there again. And she says, you can't save everyone. Whoever, whoever this is, and when she tells me that, there's a tear that was running down her cheek. She shoots a, that there, there's someone up on top of the ship that shoots a flare, like a flare gun, boom, shoots a flare. And this flare is going up, and I could see it glowing in the, in the air. I don't think to myself, somebody needs some help. Somebody needs something, so I took off, and I run, went to the top of the ship. And sure enough, but they had music playing and people was dancing and nobody was even paying attention to this guy that had a flare gun and he was standing on the outside of the rail. Like on the outside of the... And when I walked up towards him, he pointed the gun at me and I said, I can help you. And he said, if you come any close, I'm going to shoot you. I said, well, I've been shot before, so... Okay. And he raises the, the flare gun up. Yeah, he lifted it up and he shot another flare. And when I looked up at the flare and I looked back down at him, he turned loose of the rail and he was falling off of the ship. And it was on the dock side, not on the river side. It was on the dock side of the ship. So I took off running and I dove off the side of the ship too. Way over there up the top. Now this is dream, so the and as I as we falling, I'm I'm doing light speed trying to catch him head first and I'm reaching to to grab him and he says you can't save everybody and he falls between the ship and the dock in the water. And I stop and I landed on the dock, standing up and I looked over I looked where he fell in, I was looking where he fell in to see if there was any sign that he'd come up. None. And when I turned back around, the same lady that had talked to me, she was standing there. And I was like, did you see what happened? She said, yeah, I saw what happened. And she kissed her two fingers and she put them on my lips. And she said, but you can save me. When I looked back to see if he had popped up and I looked back at her, she had disappeared, vanished. Then there. It's like, hmm. woke me up, shook me up. So I woke up and I I wrote my dream down. And I did. I, I, I wrote my dream down. Dream log. I have to transfer it to my journal. But uh, yes, I sure did. At 3.30 this morning. Um... Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of meanings in this dream, a lot. That I don't know who it's for or 
to who it is, but uh, the ship, if it's a message to me, I don't know. I'm, I'll have to figure that out, I guess, as time goes on. But the ship is, is uh, in a dream. Uh, in this situation, the interpretation would be a journey. It is a means of transportation. So you're, you're going on a journey and you're, you're leaving or whoever is leaving. And uh, the, the two flares that were shot, the first flare, and then there's another flare that was shot, that is a call for attention. Someone wants your attention. Someone, whoever this is going to be for, if it's for me, then obviously someone wants my attention. Need my assistance, some help. Because at the end of the dream, it's like, and she did say peace out too. She put her her hand, her fingers on my lips, and she said, "But you can help me. Peace out." Wow. So the, the, that's what the two flares meant. The latter two in spiritualism is a lover or a past lover because it was shot that means that they are it's gone they but they two in spiritualism is a lover red the color red is significant the flare means that uh, it could mean that something is going to come to light because you can see it it's like the sun it was as bright as the sun when this guy let go of the rail and he did a Peter Pan off the ship that meant that this person left the path. They left the journey. They didn't want to be on that journey no longer. So they, they bailed off of the ship. Being that it was a man, a, a, a male, it's in a masculine energy. That's how I interpret it, as a masculine energy because they, it was a, a male that was standing there and they weren't pushed, they let go. They just walked off of that path. They let go of that journey. They didn't want to be on that journey any longer. And this is like spiritual. This is not a, a 3D actual situation. This is just a spiritual message that I think I got. And I, I'm interpreting it as a spiritual interpretation. Me landing on my feet. It's, uh, things, it's like, um, how can I put it? Like, um, it's like, uh, I, I gained understanding. Like, I came back to earth. I landed on my feet. So, it's like, uh, I, I gained uh, a lot of understanding about what's going on with this spiritual path and with this person and whatever the case is. It's like, uh, um, it's not like an awakening, but it can be. It can be like an awakening because I landed on my feet. I wasn't hurt, I wasn't, I'm not hurt. I, I, uh, I able to move, you know, move on with my life and go on. I was concerned about the person that went in the water that fell between the ship and the, and the dock. I was concerned about that person, but I didn't go in after them. The feminine energy that kissed their, their fingers and put them on me, they said that, uh, but you can save me. And they, they had a, a tear running down their face earlier when I talked to them. Peace out. They are in a dark place. Whoever they are, they are in a seriously dark place. Because I think that all ties in together. I think that this person is the one that they, because they the ones who showed me the individual that was about to jump. They the ones who showed me and they said you can't save everybody. They didn't, initially they the persons who told me that. You can't save everybody. Captain Reed. Hmm. Kind of was, kind of like, 
don't know what they meant till they showed me that person that was about to jump. And when I went up there, actuality, I couldn't save them. They wouldn't let me save them. I could have. If they'd have handed, give me their hand, I could have, but they didn't. And um, unless I have another dream that's going to tell me where this person is in this dark place that or this may be a because I'm putting this on YouTube this may be someone else this could be your message this may not be for me at all this could be your message because I was uh, called to put I wrote it down and I was called to put it on on my channel and at the end of my you know and that being said I'm, uh, it is it is a interesting dream to say the least I'm gonna tell you that it is uh, uh, it is a extremely interesting dream yes only thing I would like to know is where I met her at because she said we met many times many different places I hope you enjoyed my little summary and my little dream interpretation of the dream that I had and uh, that put in the comments and if you think that it's a different interpretation if you want to google it it's fine I don't always go with google interpretations that's not to, that's not what I do I I base my interpretations on on me my spiritual interpretation and uh, I've had a lot of success with it yes uh, yeah. so anyway stay close to God he wants to hear from us go to church it's Sunday go to church my partner will be coming up here real soon and I am going to give it to him and I'm going to go take me a nap a little nap at least uh, Remember my bride in prayer. Miss Tammy too. Yesterday they was at the farmer's market. Let me tell you this. They was at the farmer's market and Miss Tammy fell and hurt herself bad. She had to go to the emergency room last night from what my bride told me. And I don't know the, the, the entire details of everything, but uh, pray that she's okay and everything is okay. They. My bride went there, they were selling flowers, bouquets, what you call them, funeral arrangement situation, put on a tomb. And she does that. She does a really good job at doing it, so. But, uh, yes. Uh, and I will be going home Thursday. And I won't be doing a video for Thursday. I'm gonna tell you ahead of time. My first video will probably be Friday. Friday sometime, I'm going to do it. Uh, but I do appreciate it. I love y'all big, big. And uh, I'm going to shut this down. And uh, it's going to be, it won't be a 111 minutes. So, <laughs> but <laughs> I love y'all big, big. Peace out.